Let's go. All right, folks. Tim here from High and Cheap Tech. And uh, uh, first, uh, just a quick shot of supper tonight. Uh, yes, we're shooting the intro here before tomorrow. Just in case I have to drag my butt all the way down to the P.O. boxes, which could take me. I think they're not that far away. 250 feet, 200. But there's supposed to be delivery instructions that tell them. Even on the front porch, they never do. They also don't send me any of those promised text files. Uh, but first, you know, here's a picture of that grilled cheese. Whoa. And that is a uh, just a standard grilled cheese. The great thing about grilled cheese, it's not just cheese and bread and butter it and cook it up in a saucepan. No. This one has garlic powder, fresh ground peppercorn on it, and that's it. You can change it up the other day. I had one with some. I don't I'm sticking to the fresh ground peppercorn lately. Um, and uh, some cayenne pepper. Uh, you can go any route you want. Uh, you can put anything on with these. And you can use imitation bacon bits, or like I did, real bacon. Uh, it's a you know, pre-cooked bacon, and I overcooked it purposely, uh, and, and snapped it in half, and then crisscrossed it inside the buns and no matter which way I pick the angle cut it you're gonna get bacon in one in every quarter of said grilled cheese there's there's a plethora of ways to cook these things but let's get right to the intro and I'll be right back and we start getting ready to do the unboxing how's that sound it's good to me. Boom. All right, folks. I'm here. And you're not. Uh, and we're going to just crank up the brightness a little there. And uh, I am Cheap Tech. We're getting ready to do the unboxing using our brand spanking new. This will be the first product I got to use it on. Uh, Gerber Paraframe Mini Unboxing Knife. It is very sharp, folks. Very sharp. You got to trust me on that. Just do it. Trust me. And so... Uh, but to keep it sharp, I'm going to need a sharpening stone. I don't think I want a redneck around here as I'm laying around. Uh, so on that note, let's get right to the unboxing right about now. Alright folks, I always hate unboxing the Amazon box first. But it must be done. So let's get right to that right now. And that's a little harder to do from behind the camera here. But let's see how that works. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it all on. Oh, nice. All right. Now on the other side over here. The usual. That's good enough. GE, as they say. And that's right, gave us good enough. And we just had to find through here. There we go. The whole thing. So let's just do this. We're we're getting her done. Uh, Having a hard time seeing where the center groove is. 
Yeah, I know. It's, it's there somewhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Usually, there it is, right there. Okay, now I've got it. So here we go. We're gonna get around this kind of for the photograph box as quickly as possible. I think if we can. Oh boy. Shaky gears. It's right here. There's ours. There it is. That might be enough for me to just tear it down. That would be so cool. Of course not. <laughs> you can't do it that easy, sir. That's what we're so cool. Isn't it? Oh, Okay. Nice. Good to have a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, get this box open. Which way? Alright. Alright. I'm not going to do it. Oh, a wrapper here. There it is. Oops. That is our boomer digi. So we're going to throw the box to the side in case I have something to ship in the near future. Maybe somebody will buy that Huawei over here. There it is, the Uma Digi Power. So, let's continue on. Why don't we? This one Digi Power Unlocked Dual 4G on there. And, uh, oh, somewhere here. No, oh, this should just. Let's get it out of here. Sometimes the shit is harder to remove than one expected. This sleeve. So it just fall free. But you know what the other video watched it did. I'm gonna pause a second while I struggle with this. Alright, so the, it had that sleeve over it when I first pulled it out uh, that slides over this. You just gotta get, you know, serious with it and say, I'm tearing that son of a bitch open. And that's all there's to it. So I'll tell you, when you can't see real well. Oh, look at that. And this one. And this. Oh, all right. So let's look at them specs before we open the box. That's an MT6765 8 Cortex uh, 53 uh, up to 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, uh, there's a big and a small set of Cortexes. It's Android 9, uh, 4 gig RAM, 64, well, two nano SIM cards or a nano SIM, an LTE card, and a 5150 milliamp hour battery. 6.3 inch full HD, 19.59, which is 2340. Bullet 1080, 6.3 inch display, and that's an incel they call it. It's an IPS display. So we've got all our LTE bands here and more of them down here. Got all the important ones, I believe. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll try. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get this box to open. Sometimes liquid require just a bit of urging. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Come on, come on. Come on out of there, you rat bastards. Who don't want to go? 
Mm. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Just, I hate to tell you the truth. I don't really like unboxings because people like them. But people seem to like them. So you get what you ask for. Gosh. Darn it. You rats. There we go. I got a group on this. Okay. Now we're going to check out what's in the box. Okay. First, what's in the box. Oh, thank you cards from Omadigi. Big thank you. With a bunch of QR codes. Alright. And here, in, is the phone. It comes in a very nice case, by the way. Uh, I highly Suggest you read the case on this. And there is a screen protector on this already. Oh. Hmm. Well, we're going to wait on that. Uh, what do we got here? We go to next thing in the box are Link to the World. And I'm going to guess if I look in here, we're going to find some manuals. And SIM card, or SIM removal tool, and a bunch of manuals. Yeah, we'll read those someday. Uh, not going to need that today, as it were, unless it passes all the tests. So, that's going to go in here, and below that, what we got? Get the phone out of the way, so. All right. Now, hmm. We have ourselves an 18 watt fast charger, a very cool looking, super neat, yeah, a uh, nice red cable. I don't know if you're seeing it like I'm seeing it, but yeah, it's a nice bright red. You just have to trust me. Bright red. And up here, got a US plug. Uh, check the output. This is an 18. Oh, the hell with it. Right. Damn. Nobody wants to get dug out today. It's dug out day. Boys. Now, I'm going to read these off to you. We have 5 volts of 2 amps, 9 volts of 2 amps. Or 12 volts at, I believe that's 1.6. So, we'll probably leave the plastic on it, but we definitely might have to do some charging. We, hmm, we might leave that out and actually use it too, eventually. But for now, let's just slide them back in the box and then check out the actual. Oh, nice scent. What do you think of that? Well, I think it's a cool idea, sir. This, yeah, everyone does. So, this thing comes with a screen protector, and right? it tells you, please peel off this mask after application complete. So, you know what that means. Hmm. Let us. We're gonna remove this case real quick because I see a bunch of crap on the back. It is very nice. It comes with a TPU case. It's really nice material. And you're just not going. You know what you're gonna want to do is stick it back in this case, like Arthur. What they say. What's our huh? right? Reaping now. Alright, so I got the nice TPU case on. It's a soft TPU. So, so we go to that's step two. This must be step one. And it's telling us, yo oh boy, we got a fingerprint scanner and our volume and what not is on this side. Let's 
see where our SIM card is. Okay. Right up here. And at the top we have a microphone. And at the bottom, I'm sure. Oh, we got a speaker jack. So let's peel this back because it's gonna sound good, folks. You're gonna love it. Ooh, nice. Nice. And they're saying this is plastic. I'm saying no, they're wrong. I'm saying that is metal. Maybe it's not. But we'll see. For now, this gets in here. And then it says we can peel the front off. So we there we go. Mmm. Twice now. It's plastic. -y. Yep. Twice already. Ah. We're not going to just put the case back in here. Oh, just, just check around. Oh, we got our. Well, we got our. Uh, Headphone jack, microphone, the bottom, another microphone, or, I don't know what those are. These little, I think they're screws that hold in the USB-C. Mm -hmm. But it does have, can't really see it real well, but you're going to have to trust me on that. That it does have a screen protector. Correct. Very cool. It came with one from the factory. So let's get that SIM card inserted and we'll be right back. Bloop. Star. Looks like we're already getting 4G. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get her set up. Like I said, I'll be right back. Let her check for updates and all that good covered crap. All, that. all right, we're back. Obviously. So we're gonna have to put a pin number in to start with. And we on to then folks. Nice bright screen here and that's way down in the volume. I don't know what's with the little bouncing going on there. I don't know. Okay. There's stuff to install or updates to install. We'll find out. But so far, so good. Uh, it says right here that we on uh, this is on. Let's see how big it's that last. Looks like we're going to stock go quick on here. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That's a current wallpaper. We're going to change to something cool. Uh, I have a bunch of wallpapers already downloaded. But the first thing we got to do is uh, turn it off for a minute and go on to test too. Oh, here. This will be a way to show you. 
Yeah. Uh, well, we're getting 4G up here. I believe that's LTE. It's always hard to say. I've got a program to check that with in a minute. We'll get back to it. Uh, next problem here. We're going to insert my SD expansion card to see what happens. Uh-oh, folks. The Samsung here better worry. Total use of 320 gigabytes. Well, the SD card, which has been formatted as internal storage like every other phone on Earth allows you to do unless they're blocking you for a reason or have a stupid skin on their phone. So, damn, that's a pretty short screen time out on this thing. But we're good to go. So that was test number two, success. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be running out of any storage space. Last test is we're going to install PowerDirector and maybe change that wallpaper. Do something uh, really super cool. So let me go ahead and install PowerDirector. And if that works, um, yeah, uh, it might be bye-bye to the Samsung that we're recording on. We'll see. We'll be right back. Hi folks, I'm back and we're using the uh, very usual uh, MPAL selfie remote Sedio tripod on the, you know, underneath the MPAL selfie stick. Gotta admit, the video here really too bad, huh? Not bad at all. Just going to have to make sure I learn how to turn this around before I create the final segment. Um, the microphone does not sound anywhere near as good as the, uh, the good old uh, Galaxy. A51, but at $139.99, your parents aren't going to know. Just give them a lot of their mic. They might give a microphone to plug in. We'll see. We'll check that all in the final editing. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this whole damn video. And, uh, Please, this is like 11 hours of work, folks. Please, give us a thumbs up. Takes you one second, it's right up there somewhere. And uh, share the damn video. And please subscribe. You will forever. Be glad you did. Now there'll be more tests tomorrow and the next day. I got something coming tomorrow too. Uh, kind of exciting. It's uh, uh, I'm missing a screw on my little nose pad. And I found a kit for like 12 bucks and it has 1,800 screws, different lengths, different sizes. All I need to do is find the one that screws in. All right, I got the pad. We'll see. We'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Uh, I still have that last test to do and make sure Power Director works. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.